the week of May 23rd, 1967. The previous week, Egypt had moved 80,000 troops, 550 tanks, and 1,000 artillery pieces into the Sinai, the buffer zone between Egypt and Israel, and expelled the UN force intended to keep the peace. Israel began defensive preparations, but sought international diplomacy to avert the crisis. Prime Minister Levi Eshkol stated that Israel would not initiate hostilities unless Egyptian forces closed the international waterway leading to Israel's southern port. Its closure would shut down Israel's supply of oil and other vital resources and block access of Israeli ships to the east. On May 23rd, President Nasser did just that and blockaded the Straits of Tehran leading to the Gulf of Aqaba and cutting off shipping to Israel's southern port of Eilat. This action violated UN Security Council Resolution 118, was condemned by US President Johnson, and constituted a casus belli, an internationally recognized act of war. Yet Israel restrained from taking any military action, still preferring a diplomatic solution to the conflict. But from Nasser's statements and from public opinion of the Arab masses inflamed with the prospect of destroying Israel, it seemed that a diplomatic solution was not going to be an option. We knew that closing the Gulf of Aqaba meant war with Israel. If war comes, it will be total and the objective will be Israel's destruction. Five other Arab countries rallied around Nasser and sent their troops to the front lines. War seemed imminent.